टुडे वी वुड बी फोकसिंग ऑन लॉजिकल रीजनिंग वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट सेक्शन फॉर यूर अपकमिंग नेट एग्जामिनेशन एंड लॉट्स एंड लॉट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन कमिंग अप फ्रॉम वेस्टर्न लॉजिक एंड इंडियन लॉजिक नाउ द फर्स्ट काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन हियर इज बेस्ड ऑन कॉन्वर्स नाउ वी हैव ऑलरेडी अंडरस्टूड वॉट इज कॉन्वर्स वॉट इज इनवर्स इन अ कंडीशनल स्टेटमेंट बट हियर अंडरस्टैंड दिस इज नॉट अ कंडीशनल स्टेटमेंट इन अ कंडीशनल स्टेटमेंट आई कैन सिंपली से इफ पी देन क्यू If this is a conditional statement, the converse would be if Q, then P. As simple as that. So if cloud then rain could be written as if rain then cloud. So that is a converse statement in a conditional case. But here this is not a conditional case. This is all cats are mammals. Now when I say all cats are mammals, if I try to do a converse in the same fashion, I would say all mammals are cat. But that becomes false. It is false. It is invalid. So a correct converse. of this statement where i say all s r p would be some p r s that means some mammals are cats so when i say all cats are mammals all mammals are cats would be false but some mammals are cats would be the correct option and this is what is known as categorical converse so this is a categorical converse question that has been there we have covered <coughs> and we would be covering categorical converse in more detail in the further lectures so stay tuned for that the next question is now here we are understanding what is a, a middle term okay so middle term the right statement is middle term should be distributed in at least one of the premises so when i say all cats are dogs and i say all dogs are mammals okay so here the middle term is dogs and it is distributed in at least one of the premise okay middle term should be present in the conclusion that is incorrect middle term is not present in the conclusion both premises can be particular in a valid conclusion a valid argument that is again incorrect either of the uh, premise has to be uh universal it could be universal affirmative or universal negative but has to be universal then both premises can be negative in a valid argument that is again incorrect okay so you have only first option that is correct here again a very basic question from figures of speech we have covered that in a separate lecture so just go back and refer that and here is where we have the details of the syllogistic rules that we have talked about the next is now this is a simple question on arthapatti which we have discussed in our class on pramana now uh, when we have talked about the various six pramans arthapatti is one where we are trying to make an implication so when i am saying devdatta is fat and he is not during uh, not eating during the day that means he is eating sometime during the night and that is just an implication that i have derived so arthapatti is also known as implication it is also known as conjecture uh, because you are trying to assume and it is also known as circumstantial knowledge so any of these words would imply the same thing okay so this is where you have implication as a right option now some students are sincere we are talking about some we are not talking about all so it is not universal and i am saying some students are sincere i am not saying they are not sincere so it is not negative so it is a particular affirmative statement and in these two lectures as you can see here we have talked about square of opposition and moods and figures so just go back and understand these lectures in detail because logic is a very very essential topic to understand now here there is a direct question you have to match list 1 and list 2 so pramatra means the object pramay means the subject prama is the knowledge and praman is the means of attaining that valid knowledge so that is the correct match and this was one of the questions which was directly asked from uh, the indian logic section a very very basic and a very very fundamental question so similar to this when i say a prama it is a invalid knowledge so prama is the valid knowledge a prama is the invalid knowledge and praman is the means of valid knowledge now understanding anuman so anuman is made up of two words anu plus man anu means after and man means cognition so after uh, man attains a cognition or it is from the derived knowledge that is there so as i have said we have already covered the separate lecture on anuman so just go back and refer the concept of anuman in detail so it is after and cognition as the 
right option here again a interesting question here is this is a analogical because i am taking one example and i am trying to relate that example to another example so this is what is a analogical statement so my first statement is an english woman lecturing americans on semicolons is a little like so i am comparing the woman lecturing americans on semicolon is similar to american lecturing the french on sauces so i am trying to make a relation between the two and therefore it is a analogical statement the next question is it is truism to say that no one was there when life first appeared on earth okay so what i'm trying to do here is i'm trying to make a conjecture and uh, assumption but in the second statement it says that any assertion about the life's origin thus should be treated as theory so argument is made here in support of the first statement that i'm trying to give here and therefore the two statement together constitute an argument because uh, in an argument we are trying to say that whether the conjecture is true or false so that is very very important to understand and we would be covering more details on the terms like argument conjecture uh, truism in more detail in the upcoming lectures so uh, just have a note on that the next is the correct order of the five obvious of indian logic are so first of all we have the pratyanja now pratyanja is what it is the preposition when i say hill has fire so this is a preposition that i am drawing hetu is the reason the reason is because it has smoke on the hill udharan is an example where i say i related to the kitchen hearth upanaya Upanayan is the application where I am saying the hill on uh, the smoke on the hill is associated with the fire. Okay, so that is the application that I am trying to do. And Nagima, which is the conclusion, has that hill definitely has fire. So that is the correct order. First, you have a preposition. You create a reason for it. Then you put in an example, which is the udharan. You try to apply it, and finally prove a conclusion for the same. So that is another kind of logic questions that are asked. And finally, again, an important questions from uh, your Indian logic section is anuman or inference as a source of knowledge is most useful in the field of. So anuman is most useful in the field of epistemology. Now epistemology we have covered in detail in a separate lecture. Just Just to recap, we can understand what is knowledge. Can we have knowledge, and how we get the knowledge? So we have a kind of uh, uh, understanding of attaining the uh, understanding the attainment of knowledge, and therefore anuman is useful in the field of epistemology. Uh, we have covered epistemology, ontology, and phenomenology in detail in a separate lecture. So just go back and check out that for more details. Now, as we have covered in this section, most of the questions were from Western logic. Logic and Indian logic. However, in your examination, expect at least one question from the section on square of opposition and one section from uh, syllogism, which we have not covered in these problem sessions. Uh, but yes, there are questions based on those two sections along with the problems on moods and figures, conditional statements. Uh, then you would have converse, inverse, subject predicate, if then issues. So those are some of the common problems and common questions from Western logic. From Indian logic, you would have questions. Related to the six praman, uh, talking about the pratyanja hetu, uh, the types of hetu, sad hetu, asad hetu. So those are the common questions from your Indian logic section that are asked, and of course the hetvabas and the fallacies. So cover those carefully, and we would be definitely moving ahead with many more lectures for you. Have a wonderful day ahead.